Are you one of them? One of them. One of them. I am so glad. I'm so glad that I can see you. I'm one of them. One of them. One of them. I'm so glad that I can see you. I'm rejoicing, 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 I
message of the hour or oh, give Jesus a shout of it. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you precious ones. Please take your seat for the announcement. Amen. Can we be on our feet? Bring them in. Bring them in. Oh, yeah. Bring them in. Bring
Jesus, we don't have words to thank you this morning. We don't know how to even write it on a paper. Because if you say we are writing your goodness and your message towards the family, towards the church, Father, we will not find enough words to write it, Lord. And we know all the rivers, boundaries, the seas will dry up. If you continue to write your goodness and your mercies towards this family and towards our lives. All we have to say together with the family is that we thank you, Lord. That we honor you, Lord Jesus. That we bless your holy name. That we lift your name up, O oh Lord. That there is none like unto you, Father. That you are the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. And we give you the honor because it is you who have done this for the family. It is you who have given them the gift of life. The greatest that can happen to any family. We are grateful to you, Father. Today we are here because we recognize and we reckon that it is you who gave this baby to them. And not by the effort of the father, not the effort of the mother, not the effort of any man of God. But it is your effort, Father. That you play this seed in the womb of the mother. And for nine months, you took her through. And on the day of delivery, you descended down mightily. Oh, Lord, and delivered this baby yourself. Father, we are grateful. That is why we are at the altar, Father. Oh, Lord, dedicating this baby back to you, Father. That you take care of her. That your grace will be upon her. That your anointing will be upon her. That your mercies will be upon her. 
that you hold and show her spirit and body together, oh Lord, unto the day that Lord you will call her home one day, Father. Mm. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that this child will grow to know the God that the parents know. That will grow, he grow to sit in the ministry that will take her to the rapture, Father. That she will live to be a different person in society. That in the state of perversion in this world, her life will be a total different one. Her life will point people to you, Christ Jesus. Her life will be a reference point to people, a reference point of righteousness, a reference point of holiness, a reference point of perfection, a reference point of prosperity, a reference point of spiritual growth. Her life will put the world back to you, Christ Jesus. This I declare upon her life in the name of Jesus. As for the plans of the enemy against her, Father, I stand on this altar and in the power and authority in your word. The plans from the father's side, the plans from the mother's side. Again, this baby, I cancel in the name of Jesus Christ for Nazareth. Any bloodline sicknesses, bloodline character problems, bloodline cases in the father's side and the mother's side that would like to trace itself onto this baby. I stand in the altar of grace and the altar of restoration and I decree and I declare according to the power of the Holy Spirit that this baby will not be affected anyway. In the name of Jesus Christ, she will walk in this world without a single curse upon her life. She will prosper. She will bring peace. She will bring joy. She will bring progress unto the parents. And because of her, the family will see unity and love in the name of Jesus Christ on Nazareth. Today, Father, I dedicate and like faith. Said there are four, and the name is, is alive. Oh, as the meaning of the name Eliaba means he's alive, so shall this child be alive. She will live to declare the goodness of you, Jesus Christ. I dip her in the blood. That is who speaking better things than that of Abel. The blood that speaks salvation. I dip the child in that blood. And I call upon it the pillar of fire to protect her and the parents. Father, may you restore the family abundantly, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I dedicate this child in Jesus Christ's or Nazareth name. Amen. You can do better. You can do better. He has done great things. He has done great among us through the radio broadcast you heard us and you decided to visit us today today is the first time of you coming here can you please show by hand god bless you god bless you you are warmly welcome god bless you all of you visitors you are warmly welcome when we close we would like to have a word with you in front here give us a minute of your time and we'll have it. somebody will talk to you Amen. The baby that we just dedicated, we will take a love offering for the baby on the 9th of May.
Amen. We scheduled to take a, a love offering to support our brother Benjamin Obens, who lost the father and will be buried this coming Saturday, May 1st. I hope we prepared for that. Next week, Sunday, May 2nd, we will take our monthly contribution for the purchase of the land. Amen. Sister Grace Yepua, how many of you know Sister Grace Yepua, our brother Frank Yepua's wife? She normally sits in front of her there. She has lost the father, and uh, the funeral arrangement will be announced later. She's not in church today, but during the week when she comes, just show her your condolences. This week, we are continuing with the waiting on the Lord, and we'll be in the presence of the Lord Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 6 p.m. we'll be here waiting on the Lord. We'll come into his presence. Please don't stay home. Come and renew your strength. must have a total transformation. Remember, the theme is what? Restoration. So on that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the pastor's office will be open for consultation from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Amen. On Friday, 10 a.m., we'll have the hour of restoration. It's a deliverance service. New visitors and new people who are in our midst today, uh, we meet here at 10 a.m. to pray, calling on the name of the Lord for him to roll away our bed. If you have time, please come and meet with the Lord. Today is Sunday at 7 p.m. Pastor will be at number one FM 105.3. Tune in, invite somebody to tune in. It started a beautiful topic. Is God a Trinity? Tune in, it will help you. And let somebody tune in. Number one FM 105.3. Amen. We are coming up with an evangelical team. If you are here and you are interested, please give your name to Brother David Koja, our administrator, so that we can fix a date to have a meeting. I hope we are reading the book for the men, the sermon book, the three kinds of verse. Next men will have time to answer the questions on that. So please, if you haven't read, do your best to read it or listen to the tape. It will help you.
I mean, Saturday, May 1st, we have a general clinic here. We want to clip the compound and then the church premises. Please come and let us clean together. Don't stay home. Let us all come and clean the premises. By, 10, by 8 a.m., we will start the cleaning exercise. Uh, Brother Peter Kui, that lost the mother, and we sent a delegation, sent a letter expressing his sincere thanks to the and appreciation to the church for being with him during the demise of the mother. Uh, she, she's saying, God bless each and every one of you for your contribution and support. Amen. Shall be on our feet. Shall be on our feet. Yes, we mean you. When we go on down, the baby we dedicated gave an envelope to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, million yaraka, you Bompe Bompire, Unquan and Madichia Munsem. As for you, my waking up, my sleeping is in your hands. My going and coming is in your hands. Protect my husband, protect my wife, protect my children, protect my work. Whatever that you've committed unto my hands. Protect it. In the name of Jesus. Bompire. Pray. Deliver me from accident. Deliver me from untimely death. Deliver me from sicknesses. Deliver me from shame. Deliver me from trouble with the law. Bompire. No. 
any bad news, Papa, and maybe in Bramifi. Master Bonibia and Bramifi. Ose boni enwura me ntamadan mu said no trouble shall come near my dwelling eti me sra ma boni bi enwura me ntamadan mu therefore let no trouble come my way ama me nti asam boni bi ara let me not hear any bad news bon pa ye pray I commit my family into your power. My wife and children under your power. I commit my husband and children into your power. I my family under your power. You are the only one that has protection. You are the only one who has protection. If I plead, protect me and my family. Pray. 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 The Lord protected Job. To the point that Satan needed permission before he could touch him. Satan told the Lord that you are the one that's protected. And all that he has. So all that I have is the Lord protected. Your car, your house, your job is the Lord protected. No trouble or difficulty should come our way. No untimely death should come near our dwelling. And your pillar of fire protect us. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, I'm on fire. Catch it, Rade. We are praying, telling the now Lord. Now, what you are shall see. This week that we have started. If you be your body flesh, you swim up with me. Any trap that the enemy has set. So I'm for how many are many embrace to bring trouble and disaster. Did you know Jesus Christ would do? I'm standing in the name of Jesus. Did you know if you didn't know what Jesus Christ would do? And I destroyed that plan in the name of Jesus. Whatever plans they have. 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 Whatever plans they Sister Bompe, brother Bompe. Brother, pray. Sister, pray. Omo ni yaku twenty four hours. They fight with us all day. Omo na ju soma boni abemu. They never sleep until they have committed. Eti Bompe. Therefore, pray. Whatever they are planning in the witch camp to come upon me. I destroyed to the fire of God. Whatever they have made in the fire of God. Any kingdom that has risen to bring sickness of God. Any arrow they have made to bring sickness of God. Any arrow they have made to bring untimely death. Any arrow they have made to bring shame upon me. I am standing in the name of Jesus this morning. I cancel it all. I destroy it all. I consume it all. She said, "You must be in the village." Any arrangement they have made with me, even in my community where I work, almost is shut to me. Whatever they have planned against me, I stand in the name of Jesus. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Every time I pray, the community I live, whatever they have planned, so every hour, come upon me. Every hour, come upon me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, let me not be a fire scatter them. I will just shine. Every time I pray, come upon me. Every hour, come upon me. Lord Jesus, let your fire scatter them. I will just shine. Every time I pray, come upon me. Every hour, come upon me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, let your fire scatter them. I will just shine. Every time I pray, come upon me. Every hour, come upon me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, let your fire scatter them. I will just shine. Every time I pray, come upon me. Every hour, come upon me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, let your fire scatter them. Pray, 
Wherever they have said this week, 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 that in this week, the Lord Jesus stands for me. Lord Jesus stands for me. Lord Jesus stands for me. In the name of Jesus. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are praying, telling the Lord. Touch me this morning. Give me a new heart. I met with the receive what to receive your way. I met with your that I can live a good life. With. Let your spirit come upon me. Let your fire come upon me. Let your anointing come upon me. In the name of Jesus. Sweet my soul, sweet my Christianity is not like Islam where you die before you know where you are going. Whilst you are still alive, you are still alive. You have to know where you will go when you die. It's not a try and error. You can't say that I don't know where I'll go unless I die. It's not like that. It may be so when I'm not paying. He's asking us this morning. So, Radi Frey and now the Lord should call us this morning. So, Shumuni Ben now. If the rapture should come this morning, Ujidi. do you believe? Sister Mijidi. Rather, do I believe that I'll be part of the rapture? Let's use this opportunity to talk to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. This morning, touch me. Let me be new this morning. Give me spiritual strength this morning. Give me spiritual anointing. Touch my spirit. Let me be a new man. Samuel told Saul, the spirit of the Lord will come upon you, and it shall be a new man. Lord, let me be a new man. Pray and tell the Lord. This is a serious matter. One day it shall come to pass. Where will you stand? Do you believe that the Lord should call you this day? You will be part of the rapture. It's not about coming to church, but how you have a relationship with God. How you interact with your God. That is what matters. How is the relation between you and God? Sister, how is the relation between you and God? Brother, how is the relation between you and God? Do you believe that if He calls you this morning, you have hope? Lord, have mercy on me this morning. Holy Spirit, burn in me, 
Set my soul on fire. Leave me with only God and go to desire. Holy Spirit, then in me, set my soul on fire. I'm going to do one more time. Here we let your soul on fire. And go through the fire. Let me light the Christ of God. He made it a race in the blood. He made the power. Jesus, you get love for sure. Oh, break me like the Christ of God. He made a raising of love. He made the power. Jesus, you get love for sure. And by the Holy Spirit. Set my soul on fire. Give me wings, the Holy Ghost, and those dreams desire. Let the Holy Spirit set my soul on fire. Oh, give me wings, the Holy Ghost, and those dreams desire. Oh, make me like a Christ of God. Give me the power of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, oh, sir. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. What to me, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Ya wa ya ma ya ya inti mi na wa si mi ye. E bi se a fi ya bo so mi a sha si ye. Ye ni e bi no mo na sha si ye. But ya bila ye jina ye ka se yi omo nti a se. E nye chen ni ye chen wong. E nye pape bi ni ye ye chen wong. Be ya wa tum enwe humo buro. Inti ya nano pe yi o madi ya kuma ni adjune. Papa ye ni di bi ya de da wa se. Se si ka o na o bo ye. E japadi ya o na o ye ye. Eti yedi anu fafani ya kuma. Di ya kani se inshida enka udi. Yada wasi ano pesu wama ye kwenya. Ni yaba wunasi ano pei. Papa u ni mua ye inti minyari. Eti ano pei ya ton safre u. Ubra bedi hii ewe ye ntemu. Waka chile ya asha ye mbose. Bebi ya benu basa ye shewe udimu na oho. Ye shem ewe udimu. Ye shem ewe yesu kristo udimu. Ano pei ma hon hon enchi infa ye ntema ano pei. If you say what some say, baby, I want home one. Fahudi e ne waho. Ano pebe ma wuma fahudi e wo Jesus Christo di lebo. Be fa wun saka ya kuma. Be fa wun saka ya jine. Be fa wun saka ya home home. E rade ma ya wun slavu fro. A ye bet vidi e chi a fa viase a konoso. E wo Jesus Christo di lebo. Ma wa dum e no soma ye. Ye jana wa chi isha wun sa. Una wuwe ni ya wobi nibi. Una wa suwa wobi e nibi. Papa wudi e bibi e no ye mpo fri muma wa urate. Ye ni padi ye ayaa ne fuye mu. Esansi ye ni mo chlansa mu. Ba u di honi ma di ye yin ala. Ye jana wa chui e sha wun sa. Ma u jafa du mu ni e ni ye kain. Ma u ba mbo en kata ye nso. Papa ye da mu abo fon fen kata nye ni ye. Ye sori a mu amu nye ni ye. Ye piya mo ti omu kura ye. E wo ye wura di ye su ki so di mu. A pen biya la oma pam a fa ye ho. Se ye ni mgwa siye. E ye petu uo. E ye akwen shia. E ye yare dom. Ye ju chani nye mu wo ye su ki so di mu. What can't you say? I will look chapter 10 verse 19. So I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. And I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. And I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. And I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. And I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. Two means you control your area. Two means you control your area. Two means you control your area. Two means you control your village. Two means you control your village. Papa, mama, mama, mama. Your brother, I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. What's your brother, I'm a year two means here in the end of the year. In control ye yina akoto. Me bo mpa ye o Yesu Christo di nim. Tu mi biye lo be mani hoso. Ye jina u di nim. Mani koto ma ye o Yesu Christo di nim. Afe ye mpa ye bo se mana wotu yi. Enye yishida na wotu ma ye. Ma ye ntin se mude. 
mayantu abotoye mu nsem ewo yesu kristo di mu na musu bie bi adomo proma ye na wo menwuram anope ye jasu mi xe wonsa ma wadum eni ye kai ma mobro hu eni ye kai wa ko ameka sam ye honam ni moja ni pani mu dia yesu akura mi ni bi ayo mobro hu no adum bi akwa ana wa pega mi afri futuro na di mejina wo mani sam ni omo nkasa ebrade mi sra wo wo menti be fa mi mukasa said ye wo ma benya e hira no pei di enti ye firi fie ba ha e be ye fa so ama ye e wo ye wura di yesu kristo dim to me bi ama na assignment wo dem ha se onku nti apopiti onku nti a wase akoa onku nti a ni o chirase ye onku nti a wo ma e na ho ho me di yesu moja e ka wani mo yesu kristo dim me bubu wa pam nyina wo yesu kristo dim a ro bia lo mo beto e firi ba bi aba ha da a ro return back wo yesu kristo dim bo ano pe ya da wase so a she wudi ani mo nyam wo do ba yesu kristo dim mo ani e bo mpa ye amen 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 bo wo se mo she nyam ye ani mo nyam clap your hands for jesus him 116 the life boat
Oh, God, hallelujah. I see, oh, Jesus, we do. To uh, rescue you and me. Oh, I said, we pray. It's yet ready. Right there. Oh, it's almost here. Oh, let you Yes, sir. After how long he'll take? One day, Obeba. One day he'll come. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 6. Break now we're here for your Bible read. Shall we take our Bible? Verse 33. Matthew 6, 33. A popular scripture will be in him. It's a very popular scripture we all know. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Now, Moshe share. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Don't think of tomorrow. It will think for itself. It will bring unto you what you will need. So don't let tomorrow be your burden. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Because school Senna Ethiopia in Okono Ken Kai would give for Isaiah 53. Na onti as obi sa afrepo no. It means obi bia betimi akan. Nemo ne nchirase ye de e ye wonsam ne firi bae. Nti ye srew e na no pay. Be fa wasam ne bubu mu maye. Na enye ye kraduane ano pay. Na emwa ye wo ya namu otu mu. Se ne be ya ye de namu otu ye chi a e beti ho ba bia wo se ye fa. Be dumu ye ne bua ye. Amen. Let's be seated. 
The Lord bless you this morning. He welcomes you all in the name of Jesus. Aha, aye, the original word ministry. This is the original word ministry. Today might be the first time you are coming here. Yeah, yeah. End time message believers. We are an end time message believing church. What we believe is the Bible. And no, and you can't watch them. And that is what we talk about. And it's by it that we are all trying to live our lives. Amen. Amen. The title of this morning's sermon is There is Another Life After Death. There is Another Life After Death. Amen. Amen. God created man in a spiritual form. In his own image. His main purpose was that man would live forever as he lives. And that was the purpose for which he made man. Death was not part. It was just life that he gave unto man. In the spiritual realm. It was when he wanted man to come and dwell on this earth that he used even the clay to form the flesh. For man. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. And in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, a difference. If you read the book of Genesis, you realize that there's a difference. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, Yakupo create ye. Genesis 2 or for me. It is on Sunya Ewom Yenuemu. If you read the book of Genesis 1, you realize that he first of all created man. The second chapter, you realize that he formed man. And he begin or bo ni pa ewo or no ni suba ewo home to be him. So he first created man onto his own image in the spiritual realm. And to a person ye better as I see where so no. Anna on mini dot ye. Anna what de whom ni penu. When he wanted us to dwell on this earth, that was when he formed a flesh or a body and put a spiritual man in it. And he breathed the breath of life onto that body. And that is when man became a living soul. That means a man is first of all flesh, spirit, and soul. But I told her, but sometimes the Bible refers to the spirit and the soul as the same because they are both things that we can't see. So an animal has a spirit but no soul. So the judgment that we are waiting for, animals are not part. The blood that was shed on Calvary, it's not for animals. So animals do not have any judgment. Amen. Amen. When man, God breathed into man, he a soul. The thoughts or the plan that he had for man, that plan was distorted. So he had to restore that nature again or that plan again. Because of that means that Jesus coming to Calvary was not because that will travel abroad. Please listen attentively. That is why he's saying, don't think of tomorrow. Seek if the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is the purpose for which we came. Because the plan that he had for man, that man would live forever, Satan came to destroy it. And so he had come to restore that plan. So he didn't come to Calvary because he wants you to dress well. He didn't come to Calvary because of what you will eat. He didn't come to Calvary because of where you will sleep. And no secondary matter. All these are secondary issues. The reason he came to Calvary. He came that our soul that God has created in his own image that had lost that status, it would be restored. Amen. Amen. 
If he was left to just what to eat, then it wouldn't have been necessary for him to come. Because because when he worked with the Israelites in the wilderness for 40 years and he gave them to eat. He gave them food. The Bible calls it manna. He was already prepared. That means that this food was made by the caterers in heaven. There was no Maggi cube in it. Amen. Amen. There was no sickness in that food. It wasn't food that would make you get diabetes. Because heaven above and prepared the Because it was the angels of heaven that prepared it for the children of God. Before that food will come, the Creator Himself has made sure that that food is good for His children. So if it's just about what we will eat on this earth, then there's no need for Jesus to oh, come to so earth. He can stay in heaven and give us food to eat. Amen. 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 If it was left with shoes for you to wear, on Israel for 19, 40 years, someone Pablo and say, he worked with the Israelites in the wilderness for 40 years. They didn't have have for new shoes. That is the God. Sister, Sister, that is the God we are serving. How he was yesterday. It's still the same today. It shall be so. It shall be so forever. He's a God that never changes. Hallelujah. Amen. He gave them shoes to wear. Someone left Israel at the age of 12 years. He's now 40 years, but still wearing the same shoe. He can still give us shoes to wear while he's still in heaven. If it was dresses to wear, he could give us without coming to this age. Because for 40 years in the wilderness, they didn't have the need to change their clothes. Three years, I know free me zidi mwa. When you're 40 years, only you need a tadi and you need. Say any ami na ya sumono. That means that that child that was three years when he left Egypt. As he was growing, his dress that he was wearing was also growing with him. So he can give us clothes to wear without having to come to this earth. Is it money? Abraham was a rich man. Do you know? Abraham was very rich. His son Isaac was very rich. Solomon. David. Solomon, David, can mention all of them. So if it's about riches for this world, he can stay in heaven and give us those riches. He wants us to understand that we shouldn't come to God because he wants healing. It's not wrong to come to Jesus because of healing. But that shouldn't be your purpose. Your purpose. There are certain things that are greater than healing. For those ones, you have to seek them. Amen. Amen. What did the American say? Amen. He can give us money without coming to this earth. Is it healing? Ah, now say Neymar time. Eh? Neymar. Neyman entered into Jordan and his leprosy was healed. Jesus wasn't on this earth. So Jesus can still stay up there and give us healing. But the work that he wanted to do, he couldn't do it in heaven. He had to descend down and come and change a certain state for us. The whole of the space that was between us and God. That prevented us from walking to him. He had to come down and pour blood into that pit. So that that pit will be full. So that that blood will become like a bridge. So that I, Philip, can walk on it unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is the reason why I was here. And that is why he came. If you don't benefit from this, you have come to waste your time on this earth. Amen. Amen. That is why he's saying, seek it first the kingdom of God. You have to seek it. Because of so, so we don't come to God with the sole purpose of receiving healing. 
It is good to have healing, but it shouldn't be your sole purpose for because coming here. Because I'm not sure. Say, yada. I'm not sure. 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 If we are afraid that we'll sleep and not wake up, that is why we are worshiping God, then we are wasting our time. Don't worry. Now, what is the purpose of coming here? Is it to have healing? Is it to be healed? Is it to be healed? If you are coming to Christ or coming to church because you want God to protect you from the witches in your family, then you are wasting your time. There are people who haven't come to church before, but they have been protected. So Paul said something in the book of 1 Corinthians. What is it? Paul said something in the book of 1 Corinthians. And you will Christ to move any that so are. And you will more watching will be a. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Se unko yi mungwa. If we have hope only in this life. Yes, yes, it's not we mungwa. In only this life, this world. And in this life, so many are me. That is why we are worshiping God. And you will more watching will be a. Then we are miserable. Now you say unko we are chi. There's another life. That means that there's a certain life after this and one. And that is why we worship him. And that is why we worship him. And even if there wasn't any life and after this life, he is our creator. He is our creator. He is our and Lord. So even if there isn't life after this one, we still have to serve him. But, but there is certain life after this life. Life. If it's only this life, say you die, you sorry. that we will sleep and wake up. And we will sleep and wake up. Someone went to rob people yesterday. He's woken up this morning. So even if you don't worship God, you can sleep and wake up. Is it money? There are people who don't believe in God. But they are rich. You go to India, they don't, they don't know Christ. God. But they are rich people. There. If you want, you are looking for rich people. The yes, Muslims are part, but they don't believe in Jesus. But they are rich. The Chinese don't know God. You don't come to God because you want to be rich. Seek if there is a kingdom of God. Money and gold are his. Onu anka said you be di you be she be bi adu tri bato you be nante di e onu o be take care. After you had salvation, what you wear, what you eat, he himself will provide for you. And no any you duty. That is not your duty. That is why he's saying don't think about tomorrow. Because tomorrow is in his hands. It's not for you to think about it. But what you have to think about is whether you have salvation. That is what you have to seek. If you haven't had that salvation. And you are walking around in church, you are wasting your time. Because as you are speaking now, knowing your heart that one day you also become history. You mention your name and used to say something. We might mention our brother church's name for a purpose. Just a few weeks ago, he could just look this way and see him sitting here. And there, he's always sitting in that row over there, but today he has left that seat. So a day will come that I will not stand here. A time will come where you will not be but sitting here. Bisa, me, bisa. But the question is asking. Uh -huh. Where will your soul go? Uh -huh. The question is where will your soul go? What have you sat and said? Have you thought of it that if the Lord should let you see the morning, it's another opportunity has given for so you to prepare yourself? If he lets you see a new month or enter into a new month, it is because he has given you an opportunity and to put things right that you couldn't do in the previous month. So we don't see the morning just for nothing. We don't just wake up for nothing. It is an opportunity that God has given us. There are certain things that we couldn't do well. We should do them well. 
things. We should prepare those things. So the question this morning. Day in, day out, we are moving forward, not backwards. If it gives you another year, you are closer to the grave. We don't move backwards. So if we should call you today, if we should call you tomorrow, where will you go? Or where will you find yourself? Hell is true. It's telling us for a fact that hell is real. Heaven is true. Heaven is also real. And these two places, the choice is made here before you go. Where you choose. It's where you go when you die. Where have you chosen? And these two places we are going by our character. <laughs> we are going with our character. Paradise one abrabo. Paradise has the character and that the you hell is Hell also has that character it's that will take you there. So the character that you are living and on this earth, how you walk day in day out, so will determine where your soul will go. He will tell us. That God has, God has put the soul with the flesh. So how this flesh is. That is how your soul is. Please understand. If this body is a drunkard, your soul is a drunkard. That is the truth. No, 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 no. Because Paul can in Second Corinthians five ten. Or see a chance saying you know copy Christ not ten words anymore. Now obi biara ebenya don't need to be a soul. The only need to be a way you be an effective soul. No. Paul can understand. The only need to be a way you crown for a soul you crown for. Whether you believe it or not, how you are on this earth, that is how your soul is. If you're a prostitute, your soul is a prostitute. If you're a thief, your soul is also a prostitute. So how are you? As you sit here. As I'm standing here, how am I? The way I am, that is how my soul is. So the way you are living your life on this earth is what will determine where your soul is. So any different life, and our body need different life. Your body tiano sana your soul doesn't have a different character from your body. How your soul is, that is how your body so also is. If this body is very fleshly or very carnal, the spirit or your soul is also carnal. So how you are today is how your soul is. If it's only in this life, that we have hope in Christ. Then Christianity is of no benefit to us. Because the things that you are seeking, the things that you are chasing after in this world, there are people that have it but don't know God. He has never entered church. He's never said amen. He's never paid offering. He's never paid tithe. But he's very rich. Everything is So that is not why we should worship God. It's a bonus that we get. It is when the soul is benefiting. That is when the, the skin or the, the flesh also profits. Yes, because of your body. Jesus didn't come to Calvary because of our flesh. About Calvary because of your soul. He came to Calvary because of our soul. It's my for example, Mao. So give us an example. It's just like milk that is being sold. We don't buy milk because of the tin. In the the milk the milk is. Is. But because of the milk that we are buying. So, that so, milk is. so, so, if, so if you drink the milk from that tin, what is it? That is why we need to understand that when Jesus saves you or saves your soul. What happens to your body or how you die, he's not interested in That's that. True. Amen. That is true. It's the truth. When your soul has salvation, not anybody too much. He doesn't focus too much on the body. 
So when mercy comes, when his grace abounds, then the flesh will benefit a little. Hallelujah. Amen. So the protection is actually on our soul and it manifests onto the flesh. It benefits the flesh. Because we know people who are worshipping God truly. But they died through sickness. No people worship God well. But they died through accidents. If, if Jesus had come because of the flesh, every Christian or anyone going to heaven would die a very peaceful death. But it's not so, it's because of the soul. So anyone who rejects Christ is sinning against his own soul. And I'm the Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 35. Can I say Proverbs? You can answer a type of Jesus Christ and once Proverbs 8. Proverbs talks about the wisdom of God. For whoso findeth me findeth life. And shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. The one that seeks God has found life. He loves life. But the one that hates him, he hates his own soul. And is wronging his own soul. So whatever you are doing on this earth, you are doing it against or for your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Now one of whom meaning na edi wa unkrabro. No, he that sinned against me, wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me, love death. Eti mi ni a wuti me. Brother, sister, let's. But I have used to be a cavalry because of your soul. The reason Jesus came to cavalry was because of our soul. Eti ma ukra abu anya de ma. So let your soul be precious unto you. Ebe bi obisa ye. At the point he asked that if a man should have all that is on this earth and lose his soul of what benefit is that to him? That means it's not what you get or what you obtain on this earth that will determine where your soul will go. But the life that he led on this life, what you did with this flesh, that will determine where your soul will go. So listen well. Don't let anyone deceive you that when you die, that's the end. If you meet someone who is speaking like that, don't get close to that person. If you hear someone saying that after death, there is nothing beyond, run away from that person. That person is an armed robber in the spiritual realm don't be friends with anyone who plays or jokes or makes fun of your Christianity. Don't be close to people who make mockery that you are being colloquial, that you are making things too tight and that Christianity is not that stiff. Run away from such people. That person is not right in his mind. And when you die, that is the end. There is nothing. He would have told you then there's no need for you to come to church. If there's no life after this one, then what is the need for coming here every day, spending time in traffic, and making time to be here? They would all be at the beer bar to drink. If there's no life after this one, why should we struggle and suffer on this earth? Brother, if you don't believe in the resurrection, don't waste your time in the then you are better off going for and waste your time ritual money. Them. Don't waste your time in church. And waste don't, time so in. don't waste your time you in you If there's no life after this one, so then enjoy so life. And bad, you waste time. If you believe there's no life after this one and you are here, no. you are wasting your time. You have a to collection. Because we are still going to give offering after all this. Why should you waste your money 
You think the time that you are spending here, you can't use it for something profitable. See people enjoying at the Mutuo place because it's a Sunday special. Why don't we go there also? But let's listen to what Paul said. First Corinthians 15, verse 32. If after the manner of men I have fought the beast at Ephesus, what advantage it me? If the dead rise not, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. That is why he's telling us that if someone is making mockery of our Christianity, flee from that person. Where's our spirit? And I'm saying, same air home. It can overcome your mind. When the person starts making mockery, that you are making Christianity something else. Flee from that person. If the dead rise not, if we die and that's the end, if there's nothing beyond that, then let us eat and drink. Drink. Drink well, well. Go after women. Look for money. Even if it's racial money, go for it. Because when you die, that's the end. Enjoy life. What am I going to say? Amen. So which is your wuna sa don't waste your time and fukama. If you believe that after death there is nothing after that, don't waste your time coming here. So what you are seeing and you're so full of trouble about so if you understand this, the pastor who shouldn't tell you how to live your life. Amen. Amen. And you'll be the show you also here. No one should show you what you have to do. Why the wa oh what you do not go so the woman put your summer here? Oh, moon you know some. Who is here that believes that he will not die? You all believe that he will die? Paul says that if we will die and that is the end, then let's eat and drink. Eat and drink. Enjoy life. Look for money. Any way that you get it, just go for it. Because tomorrow we die. Because tomorrow I will die. Tomorrow you also die. And so let no one deceive you. Because evil communication corrupts good manners. So no one can be like anyone. So they say that no one can destroy anyone. It's not true. The Bible says that evil communication corrupts good minds. The multitude of evil words that you hear into your ears can work on you. Check your life. So if you call yourself a Christian and your best friend is an unbeliever, so you have to check it well. When you meet, what kind of conversation check do you have? Life. Check it. Amen. Amen. Brother, sister, we are seeing your baby pay Brethren, in this life, we just came to pass through. There's no one on this earth that has ever died and buried with his mansion. If you build a mansion, it's good, it's not wrong. But don't steal money to build that mansion. Because one day you will leave it behind. There's no one that has died and buried with his car before. Even if you are buried with your car, it's a waste. One day we'll leave it behind. Therefore, be calm and sober minded. And think of your soul. Because sometimes, even the money, when you become rich, there are so many issues that come with it. You cry and cry that you are poor, but when the Lord blesses you too, you can't sleep. You can ask the rich and see. He has a gun. He has big dogs in the house. That's security. But after all this, they can't sleep. You have cameras around. 
Whatever you are doing, he can see you from inside his house. In this life. God has designed this world so that every human being that is here will know that there is a God. There's no man or person that is complete on this earth. Because Solomon said that money cannot satisfy. Someone wants to be like you. You also want to be like someone. And that is how the life is. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't cheat to make money even to change your soul. But the grace of God is to the doctor here. If the Lord blesses you and you make the money, Anyway, after you make money, after you make the money, then the doctors will tell you, don't eat this, don't eat that. The things for which you struggle to make the money to enjoy, now you cannot enjoy them. It's a sorrowful thing. It's very sad. You struggle, struggle so much to make money. You can't even come to church sometimes. One day you get a holiday and never come back. If you are not getting time because of work, don't worry. One day you'll get that eternal time. Don't worry. You rest so much, you'll never wake up again. After struggling so much to make it to get the things that you're unable to get, when you get to that point, so if you watch critically, most rich people, the food they eat is like that of the poor. Eh? This is our thing. Eh? Thank you. No pepper. <laughs> if you cry, no salt. You have found so. Don't tell me no. It was she. She had no no. Then the car no more. Then the car no no. Then the car no car no. Oh, slow. I bad your corner. You move up. Are you very careful? And you be be an oldy. You know me. You be be a. You know me. You be be a. Amen. You see a rich man sitting in his nice car, but for all you know, they can't even eat the things that you are hoping to eat. But some of us, we can eat anything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The things they eat are not appetizing at all. What is it that he wants to eat that he can't buy? But he's been told. That if you want to live long, Stop eating beef. Doko, doko, Coke. Stop eating sweet things. Not. Stop drinking coke. These are things that you could just enjoy life with, but they are telling you not to so eat it. And when you become a Christian, it's even worse. Because when you become a Christian, because even if you have all the dollars in the world to fill this room, you will still have one wife because you're a Christian. What did American say? Hey, who did America form form with dollars in the mesh? They might be in a broader empire. Say, until Rebecca and a minimum. No. If he's giving all the money that America has, his wife is still the same. There was certain lie I wouldn't mean to that. There are certain things that a Christian cannot go beyond. Now what did the whole summon was here? If you're a Christian and you know what you are as a Christian, there are certain things you just cannot do no matter how rich you are. What is the enjoyment or what is the happiness of having money? That you drink good wine and go after women. The third one is the worldly music. And being a Christian, you can't go after these things. 
What did I mention? I say, and TV person would see us as a life now. You live, no, or the four. A moon yet, though. This life that we are living is not a sweet one. A moon yet, and the untold clear me. We are sick. So don't sell your soul to this world. If the Lord blesses you and you have something in your pocket, it's good. But don't go after evil means to get riches. You ask us a question. He's being evangelistic this morning. Don't worry. Maybe you are old here, but don't worry. It's for the new people. You see a friend be master bed. There's something called a master Sana bed. King's bed, eh? King's bed. Or him pa. King size bed. Maybe you haven't thought of it, but when you go home, try it. If you go home, lie on that bed and look at the rest of the space. Look at where you are sleeping. And look at the space. The other also how. So why do you worry? Why do you have to king, kill king people bed, before you can buy a king size bed? When you only lie on a small portion. Why must you sell soul. your glory, your soul? But, why must you kill so that you want to just lie on a small part of a very big bed? Master bedroom. Yeah, and your master bedroom, just like a house, where the ceiling is. It's not saying we shouldn't build a house. But you shouldn't put yourself on it or your soul on it. Think of your soul. God doesn't like lazy people, so what you are striving for yeah, is Juma. good. Work hard. But don't steal or cheat. Whatever you get from your work, be content with it. And think of your soul. Because that is more important. Because all that we are struggling for on this earth, one day we'll leave them behind. You told us before. You once live with a mother. When he, wakes, when he wakes up, he's the one that cleans the house. But, but the chairs in the hall, he was not allowed to sit on them. When he wants to watch TV, he has to go and bring a chair from the kitchen to the hall. For he sits on to watch TV. Even then, if there's something funny on the TV and he also laughs, it becomes a different issue. So if he, if she doesn't put on the TV, you can't put it on. And if there's something funny that all the children and all of them are laughing and you also laugh, you might get sucked out. One day, I met him in the hall. One day, he was sitting in the hall. That this year, he was sit on all of them. So when he sits on one, he sits on this one. There's another one here. Sister, you're higher. Sister, you're higher. Brother, you are It's not saying we should struggle for good things. But it's just saying that we should let our soul be paramount to have salvation first. As you are working hard, remember that you are on a journey and one day you leave everything behind. If there is no life after this one, then eat and drink. Because tomorrow we die. So be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good money. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not knowledge of God. 
Some have no knowledge of God. When we die, that's the end. Jehovah witness people even believe that there is no hell. Brother, oh yes, that is their belief. Hell in your that there is no hell. Ah, and then you have some benefit also. Then of what benefits is Christianity? Ah, at the boy of one you know why you come from? I know some change him or harm him. If sinners and righteous people are going the same place after death, then why should we suffer? The years we will have some benefit also. Then of what benefit is the death of Christ? Hell be any There is no hell. I will soon your major dear. So what are you worshiping God for? Sister, hell or sister, there is hell. Brother, hell or brother, there is hell. Who free hell over the lake of fire? If you are from hell, you go into the lake of fire. It's sad that sometimes when you've struggled in this life and you have got to the point where you have to enjoy, that is where death visits you. I mean, can you be You read something for us? Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Verse 1. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. It's very common. Verse 2. There is a man to whom God had given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul, of all that he desired. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil it's disease. Vanity. It's an evil. Someone has built a very wonderful house. The next day he's moving into that house, but he wouldn't wake up. It happens. There's a story of a man who built a wonderful house around community five. The day he moved into the house, he died. He left it behind. Learned of a certain radio personality who had built his house and was about to move into that house. But he died. God has given you riches. Whatever your soul desires, you can have it. But the Lord will not allow him to eat it. It's a stranger that will eat it. Someone said that he's not so much worried. And I won't answer for because you are not one day, and I do one plan. And I don't go for now. Oh, my more good be a yes, yeah, daddy. Ada, oh, my more good business. You know, I don't need gaining five hundred million billions. No, and I do one now. Oh, coach, yeah, no back on beaters in Nazo. No, we're killed. I know we're killed. I know we're killed. What do you mean? Now, don't worry. Solomon said he wasn't so much worried about his death. But the person who will come and even enjoy after him, whether that person would be wise or a fool. How many people? I know much more here company. No muja wa eti mi ajina ho. How many people have been able to establish a company that lives on after their death? Do do I hear eti mi si die? No muja di jaya ma ne da no much more share so si si niye. Do do I hear? How many have been able to leave properties or buildings behind, and those their children that inherited they took good care of it? Eti se wo ton o kra. This means that if you're able to sell your soul even for the things of this world, then you're miserable. It's not saying we shouldn't work. Abraham, Abraham served God, but he was working. Isaac, asked the Bible, boy, a hard worker. Isaac was very hard working, but was working. with hard worker but or hard working. That means I can be hard working and still worship God. God doesn't want lazy but people. 
But don't put your hope in the things of this world. Because you leave them behind. The Lord has blessed him. Whatever he wants, he can have it. But the Lord has allowed him to enjoy it. It's a stranger. That means a someone who didn't suffer for those things. The day this person will die, the family members will just come and take over everything. Nowadays, by the grace of God, such things are coming down. While you are fighting on barrack, you are fighting over the car keys. Your mobile pin code. Whilst you are yet to be buried, they are looking for your mobile money pin code. You are looking for your mobile money pin code. You are looking for your mobile money pin code. Whilst you are not dead, they are looking for how much money you have in your account. All the clothes that you have, they've locked them all up. Sister, don't sell your soul for properties. Do a good work, an honest work. Whatever God gives you, be content. Don't steal. Because the life that we are living is both spiritual and physical. Life we live, we are no any account to be our crabeko. The life you are living on this earth is what will determine where your soul will go. And your baby, I will go be a so war office. So where you want baby, I will go be a. I did be a we a be a no account to so. So whatever you are doing, wherever you are, wherever you are working, whatever you are doing there, it affects your soul. And they are be true baby. A brabo ni na be yesika. We've gone to a point where life is all about making money. Without it, you are nothing. In the days, in days past, if you build a very big and extraordinarily extravagant house, they would have to investigate to see where you got the money to build it. Yes. If you are driving a car that is too expensive, they will investigate to see how you got the money to buy it. In those times, humans were more important than money. But today, as we are speaking, but a name in the world can say. The part they used to play. They used to ask people to see how intelligent they are, whether they would choose between money or a human being. And they always chose human beings because of the benefits that they said there was. But now, the narration is different. What is that? The assassin they used to say. What's a proverb? Chin chin so so means that in the beginning it will be difficult. But the end will be beautiful or good. Anna so 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 chin chin. Say ashasi ne be ye be ye no obe bre. So so chin chin means that the beginning will be sweet and good, but the end you'll suffer. Obi biya no take us away as we be sanwa. Baga so pe chin chin so so. And anyone who understood this proverb when asked will say that he will choose chin chin sauce. <laughs> but in today's world, when you ask someone, that person will choose sauce or chin chin. That is to enjoy now because we don't know tomorrow. And they drew beer. Who did the cat walk? Who did the page now make catch the up? We've gotten to a point where people have to choose between money and man. They will choose because money. Because Abrantia onye juma da onye juma da o ka ekuta no no. Because you see young men who have never worked driving big cars. What do I do? You miss a baby onye scan the toilet. When you have some, they don't ask where you got the money. Mama, I'm going to go to Bissau. Ninety years boy. Even your man is not on site. Onye juma da. Never mind. Miss a request. Say onye scan the DC die. No. Nineteen year old boy will build a house. And the parents would even ask where he got the money from. Because he is not working. 
Young man who has never worked. Five billion. Driving a car about five billion cities. Where did he get the money? And we have said any competition. So this world has become a competition. And this has entered into the church. And now we need answer. Who saw your message then? Now we need to car. Who your post was sorry. That today, no matter how much you fear God or serve God, if you don't have money, you can't have any post in the church. Yeah, so as a foundation, as you know. When the beginning of the church, when they were choosing the servants of the church, they chose people who had a good name, who had a good character, not money. What's about what? They chose leaders based on how the people around them saw them. If you read the book of Acts chapter 6, you see but there. But today in our churches, no matter how much razor you might have like Solomon, we don't want it. So today, if you are physically poor, your mind is also considered poor. But money is different from the mind or wisdom. Because you drew baby dangerous with a 16 years boy, 17 years boy to me come in pa. So the kaji sika dia. You drew baby ayo. Christian brothers, let us be humble. That we don't get the point where young men are killing for money. Onya kupa mane ni monyam. Nadia na kono biara em money kra. Nenso onya kupa mane ho kwa nse onibi na oneneni ana odi. We. God had given him riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul of all that he desired. Yet God giveth him no power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity. As you go and come, think of your soul. Because today, death is closer to us than even the clothes that we wear. In the village in those days, sometimes five years, there hasn't been a funeral. He's been in the village before. Five years. And when they were young, they used to complain that their funerals aren't coming anymore. And they used to complain. And they used to complain that the funerals were not happening anymore because the music that would be played, that was the opportunity for them to go and dance. And because they were not getting that chance, they used to complain. And when you hear someone is dead, it's an old person. And that is where that if there are new dancers in the city, that is when you also learn them in the village. Five years in the world, sir. Five years you haven't danced. I don't want money, sir. If you have any issues, you complain. A year back, you come But then now, many will start complaining that funerals are not happening. A year you come But today, funerals are very common. Where you come Death is very common. A two abrewa, a two ababa wa, and no watching obituary. I have bought that home. Say yes, six year. A move four. I am ranting on my ababa. Now, death comes to the old and even the young. If you look at the obituaries around, you realize that majority of them are young. So if you're able to go and come every day, it is an opportunity that God is giving you daily. Don't play with things. Because anything can happen. First accident is now in those yeah, days, no. when there's an accident, people oh, don't are there no. to help. Oh, you know, actually, phone. Now, when people get there, they take out their mobile phones. Then, and they'll be videoing how the people are suffering. And this person has died, they just say, oh, and that's the end. So, if brother has died, all we say is, oh, and that's the end. So now if you go to a funeral, the ones crying are the closest to him. The others came for a party. 
And I yen 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 Today funerals are not funerals anymore. You die and see. You have a party. We'll come for a party. What that one one? I say, Mama. Yeah, clock 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 clock. Ten ten o'clock. Then you do rather get to travel last. We're poor poor, Maza. You are going to have a party. After you are put in the casket to the cemetery, the rest of the funeral is a party. Then you are going to hold it in the bar. Then you are going to hold it in the corner. Those that are still sad are the people that are very close to him, the wife, children. Funerals are no more places of sorrow. When things become common, we take them for granted. And that is how death has become. It's pleading. Brother, we shouldn't dress or wear Christianity and live anyhow. But the character that we live is all determined where we'll go. I am proud. I'm the original World Church member. Oh, what my boy? Say Meniji. He's not proud to be a Christian. I'm a proud to be a, this church member. You're right that we are proud to be a church member on our dresses, but we are not proud to be Christians. Brother, sister, Brethren, what are you looking for on this earth? The Lord has not allowed him to eat. And this is vanity. Verse 3. So Obi e wo ma oha. Wo wo oha. Na odi nfie pi. Na ni nfie mu na e do osun bebre. Na papa amen ne kra. Sha han su ye. E go fo ko tu ko tu e we different way. Let's pay attention to this scripture. It's sometimes a That means that if you die and you are not going to heaven, then there's no benefit to you. It's not talking about physical burial. Because I'm going to say that I'm going to say People interpret the scripture to mean that if you die and you're not given a befitting burial. Ten million. I say ten million. And that's ten million. And now ten million. And I'm to say to you, and one call, we'll go one call. So his mother died and they wanted to contribute money to build a house on the, on the burial ground. But he rejected it. And that money that they want to use to build that small structure on the grave, someone is looking for that money in the family to do a business, but he wouldn't get it. That they will lay ties on the grave. Why would he lay tiles at a graveyard? When his home doesn't have towels. If the Lord has blessed you abundantly and you want to do that, fine. But he hasn't reached there yet. Things that are of no benefit. These are the things we follow. If you have a good burial, means that your, your body should be given a nice dress, a good coffin, and poor burial should come in. So why do you waste your time? No matter how you manage in the burial, using poor bearers, the casket will still go into the grave. Funerals are not sad anymore. And you saw one where the poor bearers were dancing, 
and the casket fell Africa. off opened. In Africa, death is more precious to us. When you are suffering, no one will help you. But when you die, you buy an expensive coffin to bury you. Hallelujah! Lord have mercy on us. When you are suffering, no one cares. But die and see. But die and see. You buy an expensive coffin for you. You buy an expensive coffin for you. Won't give you the money. Die. You die for us to get the money. For the undertaker, no, the undertaker's boys. How much is white and black? The undertaker na be chinchi mu yahu. You will ask any yapi. You will ask any yapi. In some funi kwasi asemunti. Jeremiah said, "Me and Sue ufo. Sue me biya oko." Jeremiah said, "Don't cry for the dead, but cry for where you are going." Me sa ba habi o. You come back here. It was Jeremiah. It Jeremiah 22 or so. I mean, ah, na yadi yadi be done da yahu sa yadi ani pakwa so beko. No matter what you do, the body will still go into the grave. Everybody who ya mabo. Lord have mercy on us. We are sinner. We need baby ayah ko need the ayah. Let's know where the world is headed. A done the competition. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 10. Which one am I reading? Ani atro ho no. Mu su ufuo. Mu nyam no. Su na mu su be bia oreko. We be bia oko na ye. Ye su no. Neither be mourning, but weep so for him that goeth out. Yeah, then that can we hear you case no. E he na ni so ni wo. As the poor bearers are displaying, where is that so going? Kai Lazarus sikani no. Remember Lazarus and the rich man. E bren ko ofo ti sikani na yi ase. Ni ye yi enjoy no. Na wati na ni. For there were people at his funeral enjoying, his eyes had opened and he had found himself somewhere. Brother, sister, you be deep powers as you swat it. We came on a journey on this earth. We are seeing a competition. We are not in a competition on this earth. For us to see who came first or who came last. Certain people have taken the lead in this life. Don't worry, your time will come. Because if the Lord should open your eyes on how some people have become rich, if they were to give you something, you wouldn't even think. Because you are sleeping and snoring in the night, that person is carrying a casket. Take your time. Take your time. Said he loved an SDA song he heard. Said he was poor. And he looked like a poor man. He didn't even have dress to wear. And he went outside and he saw a man who gave him a nice dress to wear. And when he gave him that dress, immediately he stepped out. They said, this is the man. Catch him. He said, what have I done? Not knowing. The person who had given him the dress had gone to commit murder and had given the dress to him. That means that the enemy had given him a gift, but he had given him trouble. The Satan doesn't give gifts for free. Satan never gives any gifts for free. Said he also met a certain man who said I should just bring one egg, he will do an incantation for him to become rich. He gave him the egg and he did it for him. Not long after he became rich. So one day the man who had done the incantation or the charm for him sent for him to come. Uncle 
mane hongo ansan wa kofie akoda so omyema ni pebie hunu a obeboda and when he got there the man told him that the terms and conditions on the ritual uh, the money that he had received was that he has to take a mortar mm -hmm. go to a riverside fetch water mm -hmm. he would have to go naked and bring it to a park and bath there mm -hmm. before going home or go and sit on the toilet what? and wait for him to dry before he goes home if anyone sees him he would go mad and if he misses a single day he would go mad. so even though he has become very rich he has to do this every day if he misses a single day he will go mad and he said to himself that if this is the life that I have to live, then being poor brother, is better. Young brother, if I go, rather don't go and put yourself into something that cannot come out. Yeah, they will tell you, oh, we don't kill. You and don't we don't kill. Know, but you know, they say, the first time, I'm who, you mean, I tell you, I'm going to be a meeting in Ghana, secret society. I'm going to be a meeting in Ghana, and I'm going to be out. I just want to join the United First time, so it's a secret. The first time he's hearing now, a secret show, society and four, claiming that they are joining Illuminati. And there will be a TV station. Who are the Who be a TV station? Be a or If you open any channel on TV, you see these ritual people on TV. They say we don't take blood. Please understand that there's nothing from the devil that is free. There's nothing from the devil that is free. They will tell you there's no problem. But when you enter, that is when they start giving you the terms and conditions. You can't look after your wife. So you can't take the money and use it on your wife. And they will tell you that the bring the wife to sacrifice for the riches. There's no riches that we go to heaven with. It has nothing to do with heaven. If he bless you with riches, it is good. It's a blessing. But don't sell your soul for a blessing. Amen. Don't sell your soul. Don't let anyone deceive you. So that in the past, when you build a house that is too big or too extravagant, they want to investigate how you manage to build it. Where does he work? So he works at the commercial bank. Works at the waterworks. He works at company. He works at ECG. How many years? How many years has he been working? Maybe 20 years. Say maybe 20 years. He pay you say. How much is his salary? Me I work here sha and you work in see any more. Yes we am about to years now. So if they work it out and they see that it's feasible for you to build a house with the money you are receiving, then it's fine. You work in and see any more. Me I shall say your boss suspect. But if they work it out and it doesn't add up, then they begin to suspect you. Then people start talking to their children. Be careful of this person. Be careful of this person. Realize that certain people will be withdrawing from this person. Because people have sat down and analyzed and realized that it's not possible. But today, it's not like that. People just pray that building. Where does he work? He's just a businessman. What business he does, nobody knows. He goes in the night and comes in the morning. Even the wife doesn't know the work he does. But he brings money home. If you live many years, you give birth to a hundred children. Mm. Now we and live many years. Now we do So that the days of his years be many. Now Papa Ame will cry. And his soul be not filled now with good. So, when see we here, me say upon ba aye a sinner. And also that he have no burial. I say that an untimely birth is better than he. See aye aye, me nyesa baby adu koto ye. 
yeah yeah you see that one now so at that kind you see you baby i did that one i tell you the show and you know what some work the no barrier here is not asking is not talking about where the, the graveyard, how the graveyard was decorated, or how the funeral was extravagant. Uh, it's talking about, where, you know, it's about your destination. It means that, uh, that all the things that you did, uh, you have no benefits. You know, the many years you had was of no benefit. You can't yes, that indeed, you know. a true Christian, even if he's poor, in the spiritual realm, he's very rich. The Lord help us. Don't compare your life with that of someone else. I want to be like this person. If you want to be like someone, be like Christ. Be like Jesus. I want to be like him. But I don't want to be like Philip. He's bringing the sermon to an end. Psalm 49. Verse 16. After death, there is another life. Therefore, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And you add all other things unto you. You add shoes and dresses for you. The Lord will not allow you to be thrown out of a house to Once sleep outside. Once you are relying on him, he knows how he will take you. you. Give yourself unto him. Give your soul to him. Let him work on your soul. That is more important. And learn to be content with whatever you have. A true Christian. This is what helps you. Be content with what you have. What God has given to you, be content. And work hard. Amen. Amen. Psalm 49, verse 16. Se obinya ne huwa en slow. Na se ni fie en monya mo do suwa en slow. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich. When the glory of his house is increased. 17. Na se owua. Onfa emu biara emko. Na ne ni mo nyam. En sani e ni nechi. For when he died, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Is this true or not? Whatever you have when you die, you leave it here. The glory will not follow you. Former president Atamis When former president Atamis died, immediately he was replaced with John Muhammad. If you are alive and Amen. they are replacing you, it means that you've lost that post. So now uncle hell and our heaven. So your president. He's not going to heaven or hell as a president. The moment he died, he was replaced. That is why you are mad if you're a politician and you kill people to get a boost. MP. MP That MP in Central Region, the moment he died, he was replaced, even before he was buried. JB Yatwaba and Munyam Ninachi. The glory doesn't follow them. Oh, your minister, no, or you'll be better than them. If your minister and you die, you'll be replaced. Therefore, be of one Munyam Ninachi. Your glory will not follow you. It is David said, Wa, the Nimunyam and Ninachi. David said that when you die, your glory will not follow you. It is a position I want to do. So that position that you have at your workplace today, if you killed someone even to attain that post, you have worried yourself. Because you want to be a manager, you are going to juju. And when you die, why will you take that manager? You die and see. Whether the company will keep that post for you. 
Let us be humble on this earth. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers, they shall never see light. Verse 20. Only power when it is not only one or to set a more power you are more man that is in honor and understand that it not is like the beast that perish. It is the baby of Kutabia said, Radin Kamwa, a boss of us watch out. That means that any state in which you are, if the Lord is not with you, an animal is more important than you. This is what the Bible is saying. Only power when it is. A man who is with honor and doesn't have understanding. The understanding here means that he doesn't know God. Means that he's not a believer. Whatever he has gotten on this earth, an animal is better than him. Whatever you have on this earth is someone that gives to you. Be humble and seek after him. Because all our houses and all our cars, one day we'll leave them behind. When the Lord blesses you and you have, it's not wrong. It's not wrong to have. But you'll not take it away. It's not everything that you can do when you're a Christian. Even if the Lord blesses you, it's not everywhere that you can go. It's not every dress that you can wear. It's not every song that you can hear. It's not everything that you can do. Because your life is dependent on Christ. What he tells you is what you will do. So whatever man is doing on this earth, if Christ is not part, it is a waste. Life without Christ is a waste of time. Useless. Let Christ come into your life. So that you will be content with whatever you have. And pray unto him. That he is a destiny changer. If it is his will that you be rich and serve him, he will give unto you. Because indeed, there are some of us, if the Lord should bless us exceedingly, we might even stop church. So if you are for him, he knows how he will handle you. If the Lord opens a door for you today, you might not be a womanizer, but you might be You don't know how to drink, but you might start drinking. But sometimes, he, he's God who knows what is good for us, and, and that's what he gives to us. It's not that he's wicked, that what we need he will not give to us. But sometimes we are in the training ground, we are in school. So that when he gives it to you later, you'll know how to take care of it. Do not use it to trample on others. For some of us, if you should open door for us now, the things that we will do, they'll ask, is this brother Philip? Is it the same person? But he wants you to understand. No matter how it is, that man loves you. Says he will never leave you. He will never reject you. When he's on our side, there's no one that can stand against us. His eyes are upon us. Because of the spirit, his spirit that is in us, he thinks of us. Let your soul have salvation. After you receive that, what you eat, what you wear, where you sleep, he himself will provide for you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want you to use the rest of the time to speak to the Lord. Lord, I pray. The little time I have left on this earth. I don't know when I'll leave this earth. Help me. That I can walk in your word. Speak to him.
the few days that I have left on this earth as David said let me know my days that I have a heart of wisdom let me know my days first so I have a heart of wisdom let me know my days I will spend on this earth so I can walk before you therefore help me pray and tell him a few days remaining I've wasted many days on this earth but as I've come before you the little time I have ahead of me and be able to walk with you to the end pray the days that you have given to me please grant me grace to be able to walk according to your way Lord help me to be able to walk on your way let my soul be precious before you let me not leave thy ways pray and talk to him David said that my remaining days I'll stay in the house of the Lord. Let all my days let me stay in my feet. It doesn't mean that you sit in the church. Rather you sit under the feet of God. That you do what the Lord pleases. Help me Lord. What will you give what would you give in exchange for your soul? today, you came to Calvary because of my soul. Let my soul be precious before you. Have mercy on my soul. Sorrowful soul, ah, full of sin. You didn't have mercy on me this time. And shine your face upon me, so that I can sit under your feet. You give what will you give? It has changed. You want to wake up after death? I want to wake up at where the righteous are. Lord, have mercy on me. What would you give? What would you give? Oh, 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 if you have worldly riches, it's good. But salvation is not in that. If you have glory on this earth, it is good. But salvation is not in that. If you have children here, it is good. There's no salvation in that. Lord, have mercy on my soul. Help me to sit under thy feet. All my poverty and suffering. Help me to stay under your feet. What do you give? What do you give? What do you give? In a strange world, your soul. Oh, 
Watching for it away What to do It's Our Lord and Master Jesus Christ, in fact, we cannot thank you enough because of the love that you have for us. You left your glory in heaven and came down on this earth to give up your life that we will have life and have it abundantly. Satan could not stop you in any way because your purpose must be achieved. This morning you have brought us here to let us know that if it is because of what you will get in this world, money, fame, whatever, is the reason why we come to church or we worship you, then we are all miserable. We thank you for your word. For your word is power. That is where the life is. We thank you that it has entered our hearts. And everyone that has roots in the heart, oh Lord, you have blessed us. You have blessed us. It is our prayer that your word will go with us. That the change that you expect from us, that we should not follow anything in the world, but really understand why you have come and you went to the cross and you gave up the ghost and let the spirit come upon us that the change will take place in us that whatever reason why you touch us from wherever we are whichever church we are for wherever we are whichever uh, what 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 a uh, uh, tribe or whatever and you have brought us to your feet where we will be fed with the true word of god lord that will be achieved in our lives you are not joking. You didn't go to the cross for nothing. But you mean it. That is why you are letting us know, even today, Father, the whole church is in your hands. This church has been raised for a purpose. There are so many things going wrong in the world, all around us, in our families, uh, wherever, so many things. But you have raised this church to put all these things wrong, right. Therefore, we pray, Lord, give us the courage. Give us the spirit. Give us the power. Never to fear, but to face anything that will come our way, whether on radio, whether in our homes, whether in our workplaces, whether in the church, we face and speak the truth and stand for the truth. Lord, I pray committing our brother into your hands. Oh Lord, touch his leons. Let his babies come. Father, every brother, every sister that is in this church that has a problem, Lord, today, let there be a change. 
Let the sick be healed, Lord. Amen. Anybody that has some infirmity, Lord, touch the person this Amen. morning. Let us never live here the same. Let us have spiritual change, physical change, material change to the glory of your holy name. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you this morning. Think of your soul. Where you go after this life. Amen. Oh, give Jesus a clap, our friend. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But Empa says something. He said, the message that he's preaching, those of us who are old, we might have heard it several times, but it might be good for somebody new, a vista. But it's an important message for all of us. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing of God's word. And for each moment, each time, when the Lord puts something on the heart of his servant, it's meant for the whole church. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see what will you give in exchange for your soul as we bring the meeting to a close. Brother Alpha. We have a love offering to be taken. Dickens, if we can please send the boys around as we sing. Brother Alpha.
God bless you. Don't forget to put your offering in the offering boxes as we walk out. Hallelujah. See you, God willing, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We are fasting and praying. And on Saturday, we are all coming here to clean the church premises. Amen. Take the name of the Lord Jesus with you. Take. Please come forward if it's the first time of coming to church. Just sit in front here. Hallelujah. I want to see you have a word with you. Mm -hmm. first, on the first. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Take it wherever you go. Righteous name. Oh, sweet, oh, what kind of joy I'll bring, righteous.